Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, if you're expecting a miracle, praise the Lord. If you're expecting a miracle, bless the name of the Lord. If you're expecting a miracle, lift up your voice and worship Him and thank Him for His goodness. Tonight, He's welcoming our mercy. He's coming to do a great work in our lives. And we want to welcome him into this place. You want to just lift up your voice and just bless the Lord and welcome him and worship him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Yes. Yes. You are welcome. You are welcome in this place. In this place. Yes, Lord. Now lay your hands on yourself. Thank you, Jesus. For the Bible says, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. Yes. And yes. the Spirit of God dwells in Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to lay your hands upon yourself and say, Lord, Lord, you are welcome. You are welcome in this place. In this place. Say it again, Lord. Lord, you are welcome. You are welcome in this place. In this place. Yes. Now uh -huh. just lift your hands and receive His glory. Lift up your hands and receive the blessing of the Lord tonight. You just love Him and just worship Him. Lift him up tonight. He's welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome. Can you go up? In this place. Lord, you are welcome. In this place. It's a simple song. Lord, you are welcome. In this place. That's all the song. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have your way. Oh, make it your prayer tonight. Move by your spirit tonight. Yes, Lord. Move by your spirit in this place. Move by your spirit in this place. Yes, Lord. Move by your spirit. In this place, have your way. Yes. Tell the Lord, send your anointing. Send your anointing. In this place, oh, send your anointing. In this place, oh. Send your anointing in this place, oh Jesus. Have your way. Oh, I love this part. It says, Heal and deliver. Come on, heal and deliver in this place. Oh, heal and deliver. Oh yes, in this place, simple prayer joining, heal and deliver, in this place, oh have, have your way, oh thank you Lord, sing it again, heal and deliver, heal and deliver, yes, in this place, This place, that's our prayer tonight. Heal and deliver in this place. Oh, have your way. Oh, just wave your hand to the Lord and tell Him to have His way. Yes, Lord. Have your way. Oh, Father, that's our prayer tonight. 
and you have your way in our midst, oh God. Have your way. Yes, do it, Lord. Heal and deliver. Send your anointing. Have your way. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a promise, what a prayer to the Lord that, oh God, you will have your way. Move by your spirit. Heal and deliver. Send your anointing. Oh, yes, Lord, you are welcome in this place. And that's our prayer tonight to the Lord. We say, Lord, you are welcome. Have your way tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, tonight you are welcome to the prophetic turning point service. I'm Bishop Eddie Fabian. Tonight I'm here with wonderful brethren. And we're going to take you right into the presence of God. And your life will not be the same again. I know that God is going to touch you. I know that God is going to give you a miracle. I don't know whether you are expecting a miracle. But I'm expecting a miracle tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, and tonight, once again, I'm going to take you into that service. From the Kodesh, the QFC, we are patronizing our own. Amen. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm going to preach again from Bishop's book, How to Neutralize Curses. Amen. And I'm preaching on neutralizing the power of curses neutralizing the power of curses now when you talk about neutralizing something what do you mean you're talking about canceling out the effect of that thing isn't it so sometimes, I think in chemistry, they used to mix something, what, sodium, titration. You add the base and the acid. So what base? The base is sodium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide and then hydrochloric acid. You people, you, you are not warm at all. So when you mix it, you get what? Sodium chloride, which is salt, and then water. Me warm, warm. <laughs> but you then neutralize the effect of the thing. In the same way, curses can also be neutralized. And today I declare that any curse operating in your life it is being neutralized in the name of Jesus. Progress. It's a picture of misfortune. It's a picture of unexplained depression, sadness, sorrow, unhappiness, confusion, demotion. It's a picture. And when you see it, you see that a curse is operating. And many times you see it, many times we have introduced curses into our lives. Because the Bible says that, Proverbs 26 verse 2, a curse causeless shall not stand. So it means that there's always a cause for a curse. Yeah. And sometimes it comes into the family through no fault of yours somebody went to do something and then something came when Gehazi went to collect the clothes and the money from Naaman the Bible says that when he came back Elisha said to him where have you been and the guy said I haven't been anywhere I'm just here I've just been here with you Elisha said to him don't lie to me he said did my spirit not go with you when you were going to that man to collect the money my spirit went with you and you are lying to me he said from today the leprosy that was on Naaman it is coming on you and your children and your children's children and all your descendants hey! through no fault of yours you are born into a fatal family a family of leprous people 
So you see that once you are in that family, the thing has come upon you. But today I came with good news for somebody. I don't know who I came to speak to today. I don't know who I came to prophesy to today. I don't know who I came to deliver from a curse today. I don't know who I came to bless today. But something is about to change in your life. The curse is about to be neutralized in your life. If you believe it, can I hear your loudest amen? Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He said, be made a curse for us, for it is written, curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I like verse 14. That the blessing, ha, 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 that the blessing, that the blessing, that the blessing. Listen, anytime you have a negative, you need a positive to balance it. So we had a negative of a case. And God said, the solution to this one is to give you a positive. The positive of a blessing. Today I came to declare that somebody is receiving a blessing which is neutralizing every curse in your life. If you believe it, can I hear your loudest amen? Today you must let your amen be very strong. Because I came to release blessings over you. I came to give you a blessing to neutralize the curse. May every curse in your life be neutralized in the name of Jesus. Nehemiah 8 and verse 6. Bible says that, And Ezra blessed the Lord. And the people shouted, Amen. Amen. Today, when you hear the blessing, may you shout, Amen. Nehemiah 8, verse 6. Listen, your Amen means let it be so. And so today, by the shout of Amen, whatever I'm saying is coming to pass in your life. Can I hear somebody shout, Amen? That is what a blessing does. That is why in the olden days, they were always looking for blessings. They even fought for it. You will see that Jacob and Esau, they were fighting for blessings. Because see, it looks like the more the blessings, the less the curses. Shall it? From today, anything that will bring a blessing to your life, go for it. Cry for it. Jump for it. Move anywhere for it. Receive it. Don't joke around with anything. As soon as you hear blessing, you say blessing. Where? 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 Blessing. 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 Receive a blessing today. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22, it says that the blessing of the Lord, it make, you see, <laughs> that word make is also the word produce. It's also the word manufacture. It's also the word create. It's also the word bring into existence. So when a blessing is upon you, whatever is not there will be brought into existence. Today, anything that is lacking in your life, 
May the blessing of the Lord bring it into your life. It make it rich, rich. Listen, tell the person standing by you. Listen, <laughs> you thought I was finished. Eh? Oh, watch me carefully. I am coming with an overtaking blessing. I am coming with an overtaking blessing. And I'm overtaking all those that have ahead of me. Shut Anybody who thought that this was your end, they should think again. Because of the curse that is operating in your life, a curse operating in your family, they thought that this was your end. I came to announce to you there's going to be a turnaround, a turnaround, a turnaround. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 5. The Bible says, The law, it said, nevertheless, the Lord will not hearken to Balaam. It said, But the Lord your God, he turned the curse. He turned the curse. He turned the curse into a blessing. I see the Lord turning every curse into a blessing. Shout Why? Because the Lord your God, He loves you. He loves you. I don't know why He did it. I don't know why He loves me. I don't know why. But He loves me. And He loves you. He will make sure that curses don't operate in your life. If you believe me, can I hear an Amen. So, why are we so charged up about blessings? Isaiah chapter 65. And verse 8. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says, Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, destroy it not for a blessing is in it. <laughs> what you don't know, is that when there's a blessing on you there is a voice oh i don't know when i'm speaking to somebody here there is a voice that is speaking for you there is a voice that is saying don't destroy this one don't destroy that one not this one not that one not this one i hear the voice of god speaking for you speaking for you Speaking for you, shout yeah. The voice is saying, destroy it. For there is a blessing in it. That shall be your story this year. Whenever sickness is coming to you, a voice will say, not this one, not that one, not that lady. A blessing is in here. When barrenness is coming to you, a voice will say, not this lady, not this one, not this one. Because blessing 
is in her. When armed robbers are coming to your house, a voice will say, not this house, not this house, not this house, because a blessing is in. Give the Lord a shout. When your car is about to have an accident, or the car you are sitting in, you are traveling somewhere, and the car is about to have an accident, the Lord will say, not this one, not this one, not this one, because a blessing is a shall be your story this year because of the blessing on you when any calamity is coming it will be diverted not this one I said not this one I said not this one yeah. and how is the blessing going to come upon you Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. The Bible says that, And the Lord said to Moses, <laughs> Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise you shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them so as i'm saying unto you oh 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 oh, 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 oh. receive a blessing you are blessed i cannot hear your amen you are blessed it's in the same you may not believe it, but it is happening to you. Those days they will call their children and speak blessings over them and say, it's going to happen. Believe it. The Lord said, gather the people and speak blessings over them. It's going to happen to them. As they are going through the year, any curse, any evil, anything that will come to them, my voice will say, not this one. Not this one, not this one, because a blessing is a. So I'm going to say some blessings over you. Are you ready to receive them? Blessing number one is the blessing of fruitfulness. Oh, your amen is very weak. Oh. Genesis 1 28, the Bible says, And God blessed them. Today, the blessing of God is coming upon you. And God blessed them, and He said, Be fruitful and multiply i bless you today and i declare be fruitful and multiply oh let the church say amen let the church say amen replenish the earth subdue it have dominion over fish Oh, from today, you will have dominion over fish. Eating fish will not be a problem for you again. Receive it! And over the fowl of the air, that means chicken will not be a problem for you. May you receive chicken and chew it. 
the name of Jesus. It's a blessing of fruitfulness. Somebody is going to be fruitful this year. By this blessing, you shall be fruitful. May the blessing of fruitfulness cancel the bless the curse of barrenness in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Tell somebody, you shall be fruitful. Number two is the blessing of the Sabbath. Genesis chapter 2 verse 3. And God blessed the seventh day. And he sanctified it. Because that in it, he had rested from all his work. Listen, there is a time when you also rest. And blessings come to you. Things come to you. The Bible says in Psalm 127, he said, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. I came to tell you, God is about to build your house for you. Except the Lord watches, they that watch will watch but in vain. Except the Lord keepeth the city. Oh, it will be in vain. But I like verse 2. It is vain for you to rise up early and to sit up and sleep late only to eat the bread of sorrow. It shall not be a portion in the name of Jesus. The New American Standard Bible it says that it is vain for you to rise up early to retire late to eat the bread of painful labors look at that for he gives to his beloved even in his sleep oh, 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 oh. i declare as you are sleeping people will be working for you as you are sleeping, blessings will be flowing to you. Oh, can I hear your loudest amen? For he giveth to his beloved, even in his sleep. Some of you worry too much. I like the way the key Bible puts Proverbs 10:22. Or say, a radin shira in the money by your default. Now, or pray to my dear, or for being come on, 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 give the Lord a shot. there is something called the blessing of the Lord there are some people they think that every time you must be tired and struggle in life before you can eat something no there is something called the blessing of the Lord when it comes upon you there is no labor there is no sorrow there is no tiredness Put your hands together for Jesus. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9. The Bible says that there remained therefore a rest for the people of God. Listen. You pray too much. Oh, what you need is a blessing. Ah, I, I see you. You'll be sleeping, and people will be blessing you with things. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. You'll be there, and people will be calling you. Hello. 
oh i just thought about you and i decided to buy a free air ticket for you to travel to america and back hey 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 Onyami Shira and a manipa a year or the four. Now, Opre Echumadia of Fabian Kawa. Put your hands together for Jesus. There remained, therefore, a rest for the people of God. Verse 10 says, For he that is entered into his rest. He also has ceased from his own works. May you enter the rest of the Lord. May the blessing of the Sabbath be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Because when you enter the rest of the Lord, you will not need to worry again. One day the Lord said to me, he referred me to the scripture that says that God declares the end from the beginning. And he told me, before I started, I knew the end. I knew how it was going to end. So it is not what you are going to do that will change anything. The end has already been determined. I came to announce to you, those who thought you were going to fail, your end is a place of victory. I declare, victory is yours. In the name of shout amen. Some people are saying you will never make it. Your end has already been declared. Stop worrying. Stop fretting. Stop asking, how is it going to be? God said I should tell you, the end has already been determined. It's like going to act a movie and they have written out the movie how it's going to end and you are acting they have called you to come and act we have written the thing just act because this is how it's going to end then as you are acting you are worried that so this thing we are acting how is it going to end listen i get to tell you life we are just acting something which has already been determined Stop worrying, stop worrying, stop worrying. The end has already been determined. Shout yeah. Number three, you will like this one. The blessing of land ownership. for me our family nobody built so I don't see why I should it is a case but today I didn't come to talk about your family I didn't come to talk about your relatives I came to talk to you I declare you are receiving the blessing of land ownership receive it I see you having a land in East Lebanon, you have a land in Kaswa, you have a land in Tema, you have a land in Mataiko, you have a land in Omancho, you have a land in Accra Centra. Receive it.
I see you receiving lands in a very good place to build your own house. Some of you are building five bedroom house. Some of you are building story building. Some of you are building ten bedroom house. Receive it. We are buying all the houses at airports. Somebody may be wondering why we are shouting and receiving. Because I receive it, I receive it now. And yet you see it now. I receive it now. I receive it now. I receive it now. And yet you are worried about the value. You shall also possess a land. Number four, the blessing of victory over your enemies. Ah. The Bible says that one day Melchizedek, he went to visit Abraham. And this was the blessing he released over him. He said, And Melchizedek, Genesis 14, verse 18, King of Salem brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High, and he blessed him. The priest went to see Abraham. He brought communion, and he blessed him. Tonight, as you are taking the communion, is it here? You shall receive a blessing. And he said, Blessed be Abraham of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God, which has delivered thine enemies into your hand. Today, somebody, God is delivering your enemies into your hand. Don't be afraid of your enemies because God has already given you victory over your enemies. Oh, your amen is very weak. One day, Jacob was blessing his children and he blessed one of his children called Dan. Genesis 49, 17, he said, Dan shall be a serpent by the way, as other in the path that bite the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall backward. You shall be like a snake. Oh, I said, you shall be like a snake. Anybody who comes against you, you will bite the person. <laughs> I see you having victory over your enemies. Number five is the blessing of being a mother of many. Women, this one. Women, is for you. Anybody believing God for her children, this one shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. Any case of barrenness in your family, by this blessing, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Genesis 24 verse 60. He said, and they blessed Rebecca and they said unto her you are our sister be thou the mother of thousands of millions oh you are my sister you are my sister be the mother of thousands of walk to the nearest sister and declare 
sister, you are my sister. You shall be the mother of thousands, of millions. Oh, women receive it. Women receive it. Women receive it. Women receive it. It's a blessing. I said it's a blessing. It's a neutralizer. 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 Shut We are neutralizing the cases. You can ask the women. They have something called neutralized. Where are they? What is a neutralizer? Auntie Akwele, what is a neutralizer? Give her a microphone. Today, we are releasing neutralizers into your mess. They know what I'm talking about. The things I'm saying, they are neutralizers. They are neutralizing the cases in your life. Auntie Akwele, what's a neutralizer? Neutralizer is when we go to the salon, we wash our hair with a shampoo. You wash then, your hair with a the shampoo. Then they neutralize with a neutralizer so that your hair gets back to the way it was. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Bishop, when you do a retouch, they apply a chemical to your hair. Then after they wash it and apply neutralizer to neutralize the effect of the chemical mm. on your hair. Mm. Oh. The devil put some chemical on you. The devil put something on you. The devil put something on you. But God is putting a neutralizer. Shut Oh. Check the sweet papa. Oh. I said, check the sweet papa. Oh. I love it. You want more? You want more neutralizers? The blessing of multiplication. Listen tonight, any woman who is not giving birth, God is neutralizing the curse. You will give birth in the name of Jesus. Sojourn in this land, and I will bless you. For unto you and your seed, I will give all these countries. And I will make your seed to multiply. To multiply. To multiply. I see God multiplying you. I see your money multiplying. Ladies, I see your dresses multiplying. I see your shoes multiplying. I see favor multiplying. I see the money in your bank account multiplying. I see your cars multiplying. I see your traveling abroad multiply brothers I see your suits multiply I see your houses multiply I see your helpers multiply can I hear your loudest amen everything about 
about you is multiplied. You will not know what shoe to wear. Because you have too many shoes. You have red shoe, yellow shoe, black shoe, green shoe, white shoe, purple shoe, brown shoe, gray shoe, white shoe. Receive it! It's a neutralizer. Because some of you, you have won the sand banner too much. Do you know sand banner? Sand banner is shoe never fan. When you are walking, we can't tell your height. Because you go down and you come up, you go down and you come up. But from today, God is giving you shoes. Number seven is the blessing of greatness. Hey, oh, very great. Hey. Genesis chapter 26, verse 12. Then Isaac sowed in the land, and in the same year he reaped a hundredfold. And God blessed this year what I'm saying is not next year this year I said this year I said this year 2017 this year receive a hundredfold receive a hundredfold receive a hundredfold receive a hundredfold the same year same year and the Lord blessed him and the Bible says that and the man wax great the same year this year you shall be great Mr. Ubeke Siewai Mr. Ubeke Siewai you have been down there for too long. I see your greatness coming up. In the name of Jesus. They say you will never be great. They say you never amount to anything. They say what good thing can come out of you. Today I came with a neutralizer. I said I came with a neutralizer. I said I came with a neutralizer. I declare over you. You shall be great. You shall be great. You shall be. Makataboshi. Makashabotaba. The next one is the blessing of the broken yoke. Genesis 27 verse 39 and Isaac his father answered and said unto him behold your dwelling place shall be in the fatness of the earth come on some of you where you have been dwelling down there but I declare after this service your place shall be the dwelling place of fatness. Receive it. And of the dew of heaven from above. Hey. That means the blessings of heaven will be coming upon you. And by your sword shall you live. And you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass when you have dominion. Dominion has come that you shall break his yoke from thy neck. By this service today, God is giving you dominion. May any yoke that has been on your neck 
any curse that has been on your neck may it break in the name of Jesus somebody has received dominion to break away from the curse break away from the curse break away from the curse whatever curse was operating in your family you are being delivered in the name of Jesus I see the anointing of God coming upon you to break the yoke people are receiving dominion people are receiving dominion people are receiving dominion receive it ah, I love it I love it you want more every watch this lady everyone that I'm speaking is happening practically in your life it neutralizing any curse, any chemical, anything the devil has placed on you, it is neutralizing it in the name of Jesus. Allow them if they want to the stage, allow them. Just neutralizing it. It is. The next one, the blessing of becoming a prince. Is there a prince here? Is there a princess here? Is there a princess here? Genesis 35, verse 9. And God appeared unto Jacob. And when he came out, he blessed him. Receive that blessing. And God said unto him, Your name is Jacob. Your name shall not be called anymore Jacob. But Israel shall be your name. And his name, Israel. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, I'll give to you. But that name Israel, it means prince. Prince. From today, it doesn't matter where you were born. You see, these royal royals, they don't worry about what they will eat, what they will wear. You think this type of prince Charles and these type of people, they worry about what to wear? No. Everything is done for them. Sometimes by virtue of where you are born. Come on. Operate you, Papa. But from today, your name has changed. I say your name has changed. From today, you are called Prince. You are called Prince. You are called Prince. You are called Princess. Receive it. Walk to the nearest Prince or Princess and salute them and say, Your Highness. Your Highness. Everything is provided for you. Everything is provided for you. Hey! Prince Ben! Prince Ben! Prince Richard! Prince Joe! Prince Sicho! Princess! Dolly! Princess Julia, Princess Rachel, receive it. Is it possible that just by saying these things, you have been translated to be a royal? 
That is what it is. Receive it. Next one, the blessing for children. He said, Deuteronomy 28 verse 4, Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. I declare your children are blessed. Your children will not come home within their pregnancy. Your children will not be armed robbers. Your children will not be cocaine smugglers. Your children will be blessed. Receive it. I like this one. The next one, the blessing of transposition. Genesis 48, verse 20. Jacob was praying for Joseph's children, Ephraim and Manasseh. Manasseh was the elder, and then Ephraim was the second. But look at what happened. And he blessed them that day, saying, Indeed shall Israel be blessed. May God, he said, saying, God make thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh. Transposition. That means they are changing the position. Today I declare, God is changing the position. Some of you, where you are, in school, you are always carrying the class. But God is changing the position. When he was praying for the children, Jacob, Joseph put Manasseh on his right. And he put Ephraim on his left. But the man had a plan that Ephraim should come before Manasseh. So he thought he would be laying his hands this way. But the Bible says he wittingly crossed his hand this way. So that the right hand was on Ephraim and the left hand on Manasseh. Today I see the Lord crossing his hand. I see God crossing his hand. I see God crossing his hand. It happened to David. When Samuel went to the house, he was calling people, Eliab and all these people. But God, people report him. But God said, no, these are not the ones. There is somebody at the QSC. I need that person. They said, ah, he's just a small boy. Every day he says he's going for gathering service, gathering service. Someone said, go and bring him. We shall not sit down until he comes. And the Bible says, when David appeared, the Lord said to Samuel, this is he. This is he. This is he. I see God saying, this is he. The hand of God is being crossed to bless you. They will overtake those who have gone ahead of you. God will bless you. The brothers were standing there, they couldn't believe it. That God had crossed his hand like this. People will not believe it when they see you. That is it you who have been chosen. When nobody thought you could be chosen, nobody thought any good thing can come out of you. God said, I like you.
one day the Bible says that when David died, because Absalom had died and Amnon had died, the next person to become the king was Adonijah. Adonijah thought he was going to be the one. So Bible says, 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 15, and Adonijah went to see Bathsheba. And he said to Bathsheba, you know that the kingdom was mine. And even all Israel were expecting me to be the king. He said, but how be it? The kingdom is turned about. It's turned about. It's turned about. And it has become my brother's because it was his from the Lord. It was his from the Lord. Transposition. I see a transposition taking place. God is overtaking some people. God is bypassing some people. And he's bringing a blessing to you. If you believe in shout yeah. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but God is bypassing people. In your family, God is bypassing people. In your home, God is bypassing people. In this country, God is bypassing people. God is locating you today to give you a blessing. May you receive a blessing. May you receive something from the Lord. May you receive some great things from the Lord. May a blessing come to cancel every curse. In the name of Jesus. In every hour of the day, in every hour of the night. Yes. Oh yes, desperate for you, Lord. Desperate for you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. More of you, Lord. More of you, Lord. More of you, Lord. More of you, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, I need you. Oh, Tell him how much you need him tonight. Yes. As we prepare to end this service, just bless him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I need him. Oh, yes, Lord. Most great. It's your most Lord. Thank you, Lord. No tell the voice like that. Can be suffered. Mm -hmm. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Oh, every hour I need thee. Oh, bless. Oh, bless me now, my sin. I come to thee. Sing it, sing it, sing it. I need Jesus. The oh, I need thee. Oh, every hour I need thee. Oh, bless. Somebody cry out to the Lord right now to bless you. 
to bless your hands, to bless the work of your hands, to bless everything of yours tonight. I come to thee, oh Jesus. Oh, bless, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to Oh, lift up your hands to the Lord and just ask the Lord to bless you. 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 Let it keep playing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, just let it keep playing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, I need you. 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 I need you, Lord. Tell the Lord how much you need him. How much you are desperate for him tonight. The blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow is your portion. I need thee, O oh God. I need thee, O oh God. Every hour I need thee. Tell the Lord to bless you, to bless everything of yours, to bless your household, to bless the work of your hands, to bless everything of yours, your business, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, it's the blessing of the Lord that takes away curses. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. You have been programmed to fail, but tonight uh, there's a new programming taking place. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord, the blood of Jesus, is deprogramming the works of the enemy in your life. Whatever you came to meet on this earth uh, is being changed, is being turned around. Uh, there's a reprogramming, and God is programming your life for success, for, for health, for breakthroughs, for blessings in the name of Jesus. And I declare everyone whose name has been on this page and been ruling that the power. Of God has touched you, and the Spirit of God has touched you, and your life is not the same again. In the name of Jesus, the blessing of the Lord that make a rich and added no sorrow is your portion. Receive healing, receive deliverance, receive the touch of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, the blessing of the Lord, as you cry to God and as you call on Him, the Lord stretched forth His hand and touched you. Oh, yes, I see somebody right there. You are just watching, and the Spirit of God is just moving and touching you. You are shaking uncontrollably. I see somebody, tears are rolling down your eyes as you are singing, I need thee, I need thee. Tears were running down your face, and the power of God just took over. I just saw a woman that the Spirit of God has just come all over you. The presence of God is all over you. The power of God is all over you. The Spirit of God is just doing a work in your life. Every need of yours that you brought us, that the power of God is touching you and making a difference in your life. In the name of Jesus, Makota Badoria Shakata Bande. Every curse is broken. Every cycle is broken. In the name of Jesus, you are being set free tonight. The presence of God is so tangible. I can feel it. The presence of God, I tell you. That presence that was in the service. That same presence is here tonight. And it's touching you tonight. Receive it and be set free. This is the turning point. This is the point at which things are turned around in your life. Your life will not be the same again. Keep batoria shaka tabande. Ika baba babo katoria sangara baba baba. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, I need you, yes, Lord. And every hour. Thank you, Lord. I need you. Oh, bless. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Savior, I come, I come to thee. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, bless, oh, bless me now, my Savior. Oh, Jesus, I come, I come to Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tonight, I want you to take your communion elements wherever you are. We're going to pray. And as you partake of the communion, I want you to believe that the blessing of God is coming upon you. The Bible calls the blood the cup of blessing. And so before we take it, I know that God is going to reach out to you. 
And I want you to take your bread wherever you are. Take your bread. We're going to pray over it. It's the body of Jesus Christ. And I tell you, your body is being reprogrammed. Reprogrammed for success. If everything of yours has been failure. The other day, his brother called me and said, everything I do fails. Whatever I do fails. I declare that from tonight, it will not fail again. As you partake of the body of Jesus Christ, whatever you do will succeed. Because Jesus, nothing failed with him. Everything he did worked. And so as you are partaking of the body of Jesus Christ, believe that everything is going to work. No sickness will dwell in your body. Anything of the devil that is not your portion, is not your portion, will not dwell in your body in Jesus' name. Lift up the bread wherever you are and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this bread. We declare, Lord, that it's no longer bread, but it's your body that was broken for us on the cross of Calvary. And tonight, as your people partake of this communion, of this bread, and this body of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, I pray, let there be a reprogramming of every body, every skin, every, every cell in us, in the name of Jesus Christ, to do well and to succeed. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, the body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ. and has no sorrow the blessing of the Lord that cancels out curses the blessing of the Lord that programs us for success and victory over the enemy the blood that overcomes the enemy and also our testimony tonight father we declare that by your blood oh God your people are receiving victory wherever they are that the blessing of God is coming to every home every family every business every hand in the name of jesus every life to turn it around for good in the name of jesus i pray that anyone who is sick as they take this wine which is the blood of jesus may they receive healing now in jesus name i bind every spirit of infirmity i bind every hold of the devil you spirit of cancer lose your hold now in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i claim healing for everyone that is watching, I claim victory for you right now. Everyone that is listening and watching, receive it in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every hour 
I need. I see somebody, your business is not doing too well. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me from tonight is over in the name of Jesus. I see somebody, things are not working well in your marriage. From tonight it's over in the name of Jesus. I see somebody, God is placing you at a place where you never thought you'd be. He's setting your feet upon a rock to stay. You are not going down anymore in the name of Jesus. Let's just stretch forth your hand and touch that screen what you're watching right now and i'm praying with you father in the name of jesus i agree with my people right now we join our faith together for your word says that whatsoever two shall agree as touching here on earth it shall be done in heaven and so lord as we agree together and as we pray father i speak for your blessing into their lives i speak for the blessing of the lord that makes rich and has no sorrow bring healing bring deliverance bring promotion Bring a turn around. Bring a turning point in every life in the name of Jesus. Give everyone that is watching me tonight a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, any sickness in your body is cursed. Whatever it is, whether it's COVID-19, cancer, any hold of the enemy, stomach ache, headache, whatever pain in any part of your body, be loose from it in Jesus' name. Woman, thou art loosed. Young man, thou art loosed. Daddy, you are loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight marks the beginning of your blessing and your, of your laughter. For when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it was like day that dream. May a blessing like a dream come upon you. That you will have to pinch yourself to believe that it is real. In the name of Jesus Christ. Walk in it. Receive. That miracle you are looking for, that which you have looked for for so long, may it be your portion. And may God restore to you power, riches, wisdom, strength, glory, honor, and blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. May your life not be the same again. Be blessed. Be blessed. Lift up your hand and just begin to thank God right now. Thank Him. Thank Him. Every hour I need Him. Thank Him. Father, we bless you. We bless you for your presence. We thank you for your blessing upon every life, oh God. Oh yes, thank you for the testimonies and the many miracles that have taken place, the healings that have taken place tonight. Father, we thank you that when we come to you, we are blessed. When we come to you, we never leave the same. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that has been our portion tonight. Father, we give you thanks. We give you all the glory. We give you thanks. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh thank you, thank you Jesus. We worship you, we worship you, we give you thanks, we give you thanks, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, what a time in God's presence, what a time in God's presence. And tonight I tell you, I feel blessed. I said I feel blessed. Somebody say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And tonight we are going to sing it that we are blessed. We're going to affirm it. We're going to confess it that we are blessed. And as we sing it, join in and declare that you are blessed. We're going to be receiving our offering right now. Listen, let me do that. And then we're going to do that song and we'll be closing tonight. I want you, everyone, wherever you are, to take out an offering. Listen, God wants to bless your seed and bless your finances. Your money is going to turn around. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Somebody, God is blessing your bank account. Amen. And tonight, I want you to sow a special seed. I want us to connect to these seven powerful miracles that God has given back to us through Jesus dying on the cross. Power, riches, wisdom, strength, which is your health, and then glory and, and honor. And then the blessing of God. All these things are coming upon you. I don't know why you would not want to connect and tap into it. I want you to take out a good seed. Let's connect to this number seven. Oh yes. I, I believe in these numbers. They are powerful. Tonight, there are two numbers that are working for us. Three and seven. Three because of the month we are in. And seven because of the prophetic restitution that is coming your way. And I want you to sow a seed 
either of 30 or 70 or 700 or 7,000 or 3,000 or 300. Let the Spirit of God direct you. Listen, many people are going to share testimonies. And already I see people sharing your testimonies. If you have a testimony, just put it right there on the screen. We're going to be celebrating and rejoicing with you because some of you should just begin to check yourself. God has healed you. That sickness is over. It's gone. You can move your hand. You can raise your voice. You can jump. You can stamp your foot and it's gone. You can bend. You can feel it again. The headache is gone. That throat pain is gone. God has healed you. God has turned that situation around in the name of Jesus. And so I want you to take your gadgets, your phones, whatever you're using to send the money. You want to send $70, $30, $700, seven, 700 pounds or euros, 70, something to do with seven, something to do with three. You want to send it or three or seven, whichever we believe God tonight. And I'm believing God with you. And I want you to lift up your gadgets. We're going to pray the number to send it to is 055 Seven seven one four four five eight zero five five seven seven one four four five eight. And if you are sending from outside of the country, you can prefix it with plus two three three plus two three three, which means plus two three three five five seven seven one four four five eight. And the number is right there on the screen, it's being pinned on the screen for you. And so, we're going to give that offering. Lift up your phone or whatever you're giving through, and let's pray, Father. In the name of Jesus, I agree with your children tonight. As we pray, Father, we are asking for financial blessing. This particular seed is for a financial blessing. And I'm agreeing with your children that you bless their finances. Let money be sent into their account. Let money be sent onto their mobile money safe wherever it is in the name of jesus let money be sent to them let them receive more than they can carry in the name of jesus father let there be a financial revolution and a financial breakthrough in jesus name that debt that that brother owes is paid that debt that that woman owes is paid in jesus name thank you father for financial blessings tonight that is our prayer. And we thank you that you have blessed us in every way in the name of Jesus Christ. And somebody shouted amen. Amen. Oh, shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we are blessed. We are blessed. Yes. Send your offerings in right now. As we are making this confession of ourselves. Send your offerings in. Send it in. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Ha, ha, ha. I'm blessed. Going out. Going out. Coming in. I'm blessed. Do you believe it? Then declare it. I'm blessed. Yes. February. To December. To December. You are blessed. I am blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, kings shall come to the rising. You are rising and kings are coming to you wherever you are. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am favored and graced by God. That's what is happening. Thank you. Everything I do, I shall prosper. That's going to be your portion. Yes. Yes. Everything I touch shall be blessed. Oh, let's sing it. Blessed. Yes. I'm blessed. 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 Yes. I'm blessed. That's all the confession we are making. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. King shall come. King shall come to my rising. Because I'm rising and kings all over the world are coming to me. I am favored and graced by God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. In all I do, I shall prosper. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Everything I touch shall be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Are you blessed? Come on. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed, oh I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, oh I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, oh I'm blessed, I'm blessed.
blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, oh I'm blessed, I'm blessed on the right, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, oh I'm blessed, I'm blessed, hey, so blessed, so blessed, so blessed, so blessed. So blessed. Uh -huh. Listen, I tell you, it's so powerful. The blessing of the Lord reaching out to you wherever you are. You are blessed. Believe it. Declare it. As you go through the week, the weekend, declare you are blessed. God has blessed you. Your life will not be the same again. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for lives that have been seen everywhere. Thank you, Lord, for testimonies. Miracles. Hey, you are blessed. I love you so much. And I want you to continue confessing it that you are blessed. You are blessed. Every hour, every minute. Keep declaring it that you are blessed. I love you so much, Lord Bishop Edibade. Thank you for joining me on the prophetic turning point service tonight. And for everybody else who joined in. I say, God bless you. We'll meet again. God willing on Monday for our 11 hour prayer time. God bless you. I love you. Keep speaking it. You are blessed. God bless you. Hallelujah. Yes.